Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies, India's number one BricsCAD reseller and distributor. In this video, I will show you how you can install our productivity software CAD Power for BricsCAD. First, you need to go to our website, which is www.thedesignsense.com, which is www.thedesignsense.com. On the main page, you can see the CAD Power links. Next to CAD Power, you can see the AutoCAD icon, which is the download for CAD Power for AutoCAD. And next to that, you can find the CAD Power for BricsCAD download. Click on this icon and you'll reach the CAD Power for BricsCAD download page. Over here, you can see the English download exe link on the extreme left box. If you right click here and copy the link location, you can probably paste it in notepad so that you can use this as a direct link at any time going forward. Else you just click on the exe file and the download link opens for download. So I'm going to save this file. So the cat power download has started now and you can see the progress of this download. So it's already done and it has been uh, saved on my computer. So I can just double click on this and run it now. So the name of this file is catpower underscore bricscad underscore en dot exe, which means catpower for bricscad English version. So I have double clicked on this and now the installation is going to start now. So this is the installation for catpower for bricscad. Just click OK. So welcome to CAT Power V20 English for BricsCAD. Click on next. Now you can just note down this path in which the default installation is going to take place. It is C program files design sense CAT Power 20 BricsCAD EN. So once again, just to clarify, CAT Power is the name of the product. 20 is the version number. BricsCAD is the platform and EN means it's for the English version. Just click next. The folder already exists. Do you want to install anyway? I'll say yes. Next. Install. So the files are being copied and the installation is happening now. So once the installation is complete, you will get this message which says cat power installation is complete. And it also gives you a set of instructions on how to do a simple configuration in order to make sure that your cat power is visible and running as soon as you start BricsCAD next. So I won't explain to you these details as of now here and I will show it to you inside the software what you can do. So click on OK. This is the final step before the finish and here you can say that there are a number of help and learning resources available in the installation and this tick mark indicates that if you click finish now it's going to open all these resources as PDF files say for example let me leave it clicked and click on finish okay so you can see the cat power resources have opened here the first one what you see here is the cat power user manual this is the commands list and you can also see the readme file for cat power so all this information opens up directly on your screen. The first time when you install CAT Power, you may need to read all this. But as you become used to CAT Power, you may not need this. In that case, you can just uncheck those options before you exit from the installation. So I'm going to close all these now. I'm going to minimize this one and I'm going to start BricsCAD. So this is my BricsCAD V20. The installation is complete. So that's the BricsCAD startup screen. So I'm going to just click on drafting. So I'm going to start a new drawing with the default MM template, which is good. Okay. So when I start BricsCAD, now you can see that the CAD Power menu is already loaded. Now, in case it is not loaded, there is a small configuration step that you need to follow to ensure that this menu appears automatically and that is as follows go to the settings menu click on settings and you will get this dialog box here where you can perform all your 
settings click on program options click on files and the first item here is called support file search path click here so when you click here you can edit all the support file search paths click on these three dots here then the list of folders for the support path will open up so here you can see that my cat power installation folder is not available yet so you can add this by saying add path click on these three dots and if you go to C drive if you remember where cat power was installed it is in C program files design sense cat power 20 bricks cat en so I reach up to this point then I'm not going to pick any of these folders because I need to pick the parent folder which is cat power 20 and then I'm going to click select folder so now you can see that the folder name for cat power appears in the entry of the search paths for bricks cat so this is what was required to be done and I strongly recommend that you always have this search path added in your BricsCAD settings. So once you have done that, you can just click on this again and there is a move up button here. So using that, you can move this up to the top. Then you click on OK, then you exit and then I just exit from BricsCAD as well. Restart BricsCAD. Once again, start the drafting profile, start a new drawing. Okay, so I'm all good now. My BricsCAD is working. My CAD power also is set. So everything is working fine. So like I told you a little while back, this step of adding the path in the settings is actually optional, but it is recommended because sometimes you may get this menu automatically and sometimes you don't. Now there are reasons why sometimes you get it automatically and sometimes you don't. It depends on your Windows permissions. Sometimes in big companies, the administrator will do the installation using his or her login account. But actually when the user starts to use, they will be using their login account. So because of this difference between the admin login and the user login, the automatic initialization of cat power in BricsCAD might not happen and you might not this see this menu. In that case, it is mandatory to do the settings and adding of the path as I showed you just now. Okay, so cat power is working. So you can just verify that cat power is working indeed by just typing cp underscore. And when you type cp underscore, you can see all the cat power commands which begin with cp underscore. So for example, if you run any command like b count, so you can see that it's running. Now, once the installation of cat power is completed, the next step is to do the licensing. So to do the licensing, first we require the app key of your computer. The app key of your computer is nothing but a unique ID of your computer, which is derived either from your computer MAC address or from your hard disk. And that is generated by going to the cat power menu. And at the very end, you can see there is an option called display application key. Click on this and here you can see cat power version 20.09 English bricks cat the application key for this computer is the so and so and the MAC address based application for this computer is so and so the computer name is so and so and the username is so and so now you need to send us this information by email and we will generate your license file and send it back to you within one business day or sometimes even earlier at the end you can see a small instruction you can copy paste this app key from the text window after exiting this dialog box so I'm going to exit this dialog box and the same information you can see now here on the text window so I'm just going to copy this so what is the information I need this entire information about the app key which includes your MAC address and the hard disk app key and your computer name and username. I need all this information. So just go here and click control C and copy that. So once you have the app key, the next step is to simply send it to me by email. So I'm going to open my email software, which is Outlook and the email address to which you must send it is rakesh.rao at the rate the design sense.com. Put the subject as app key for cat power and simply paste your app key here and just send it to me so once you send the app key to me I will generate the license file and send it to you and that license file will have an extension of RGS 
as soon as we receive your app keys we will use that to generate your license file the license file is an encrypted file which has a name cat power user 20 underscore en underscore bc dot rgs so as explained earlier 20 is the version number en is the language and bc is the platform which is BricsCAD. the reason why we have this format is because cat power is available in four different languages namely english portuguese german and spanish accordingly the identify here will be either en ptb de or es and it's also available right now in two platforms AutoCAD and BricsCAD so accordingly the identifier here will be either BC or AC and the product name at the beginning will be cat power or if you're using our other product GeoTools then you'll have GeoTools user and so on. once you receive this RGS file the next step is very simple you simply have to go to the cat power menu under more options you will find something called activate license click on that so it will ask you to select the cat power license file which has this name so it's already here in my f drive so i'm going to select it so as soon as i select it says cat power license successfully copied to c users rakesh rao app data and so on so which means this file has now been copied to the c users folder under app data there is a specific folder for cat power in under the app data you can actually see that folder here if you go to your file explorer users rakesh rao app data local cat power brickscad v20 so you can see that the file has been copied here so once the license file has been activated you can see there's a message which it tells you here successfully read cat power registration information cat power version 20.09 register to rakesh rao with this desktop name that is the computer name if you want to verify and be sure that your license is indeed completely activated just go to cat power menu more options license info and here it will give you the complete information about your license in this case since it's only a test I have not entered the company name and other things but if you are a commercial user you will have all those details mentioned here what is important is the one at the bottom which are the application keys and username so here you find the application key which is the MAC address of the computer which you just sent to me in large organizations there will be multiple users and it is possible to add multiple app keys inside one license file so if your organization has 10 users and you want to send all the 10 users app keys to me I can add them all into one single license file and send it to you the same license file can be used to activate multiple computers as long as the matching app keys can be found in the license file. So I hope this procedure is clear. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please do reach out to me by email or by phone. Uh, you can find all the contacts on the uh, Cat Power menu or on other places on the website. Or you can even leave a comment on YouTube. Thank you.